St. Paul, near the end of his first letter to the people in Corinth, said, Now I make known to you, brothers, the gospel which I proclaim to you, which you also have received, in which you also stand, by which you are also being saved. If you hold fast to the message I proclaim to you, unless you believe to no purpose, for I pass on to you as a first important what I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised up on the third day according to the scriptures. So how does this information about Christ dying and rising become for you? How do we get from the cross in 33 AD to today for you? A very wise man named Martin said in the 16th century, I believe that I cannot believe in Jesus Christ. But that little word, but, always changes what was said beforehand. You cannot believe in Jesus Christ. But the Holy Spirit has caused you to believe. He has put faith into your heart that trust that what Jesus did on the cross nearly 2,000 years ago matters for you. This is not about what you do, as if you could even do anything for belief, to believe. But it's about what God has done for you. For while we were still helpless, yet at the proper time, Christ died for the ungodly. God demonstrated his own love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The Father loves you. And so while you could not believe because you were a helpless sinner, the Father sent his son Jesus to die for you. And so that you believe this, they then sent the Holy Spirit who has amazing gifts for you so that you receive the gift of faith in Jesus for you. Again, to quote Luther, the Holy Spirit has called me by the gospel, enlightened me with his gifts, sanctified, and kept me in the true faith. The Holy Spirit takes his gifts of the holy gospel, holy baptism, holy absolution, the holy supper, to call and enlighten you, to make Jesus for you. The Holy Spirit is he's better than Santa Claus, and he has greater gifts than you've ever received from that guy. The Holy Spirit gives you Jesus for you. That changes your history and eternity. Now, not only can you believe, you do believe that Jesus died for you, that Jesus rose for you and that Jesus is coming back for you. All gift from the Father, through the Son, by the Spirit, for you. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.